Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn about activity monitoring with respect to the case study. And we are also going to see some of the case studies, how a human activity is monitored using various sensors and how it is connected over the IoT. Okay. So in the complete human or any kind of activity monitoring, we need several types of sensors integrated over a internet or a network through which we can monitor or alter or uh, control this particular uh, mechanisms okay so using these uh, several types of sensors so activity monitoring of human can be in the form of uh, wearable sensors wearable means which uh, sensors in the form of uh, electronic devices which can be wearable on the body okay so through which the data can also be captured time to time. Next comes this activity monitoring can also be uh, integrated into the medical. So medical in the sense uh, heartbeat monitoring, uh, pulse monitoring, ECG monitoring or brain signal monitoring, all this comes under uh, medical activity monitoring. Okay. Not only that, we can also apply these sensors into the child care, elderly care, uh, entertainment and security. Okay. So all these, in all these things, activity monitoring with the help of sensors can also be very much implemented and it will be beneficial for uh, many applications too. So it plays an important role for providing better quality of life and safeguarding the humans. Okay. Not only that, it provides information very, very accurately in reliable manner and it continuously uh, provides monitoring support okay all these comes under activity monitoring with respect to the sensors see this is how an uh, overview of uh, sensor works let's take an uh, uh, sportsman or an athletic okay so this uh, person has uh, integrated with several sensors where it will be monitoring ECG, okay, uh, spirometer, uh, it also integrated with some phone or PDA. We also have the motion sensor in order to detect the uh, athletic or uh, athlete motion, okay. So we also have wristband in order to uh, measure the steps or the runs uh, per kilometer. We can also calculate that. And not only that, we have... Uh, complete body uh, area network equipped with the sensors, okay? So most of the sensors or uh, few devices will be getting the analytics on the device itself, but few sensors will be giving the data over a uh, wireless network. So here, all the sensor data will be wirelessly sent to this uh, particular uh, uh, applications or uh, monitoring devices through the wireless sensor network. So here the wireless sensor network can be a uh, Bluetooth receiver, RFID receiver or the wireless fidelity or Wi-Fi. Okay. So from these particular through through these particular wireless sensor uh, networks. Okay. We are giving signal to the router. Okay. So it can be an uh, Wi-Fi access point. So from the router, all the data will be stored in the IoT cloud. We have already seen what is the IoT cloud, right? Okay. So all the data will be uh, stored over there. So from the IoT cloud, uh, time to time, the data will be sent to the servers or the data centers. Okay. So from there, the data will be fetched to the hospitals or the medical applications, or it can be anything, whoever wants to control or monitor that particular uh, data. Okay. So they can, for a simple example, suppose we are wearing a smartwatch, okay? The smartwatch shows how many steps we have uh, uh, gained in a day, okay? How many calories we have burnt in a day, or if you are uh, working out, how many uh, exercising steps or how many calories or the uh, this thing, uh, every moment, okay? How many, how much time you have done the workout, everything will be monitored over on in our smartphone. Not only in the smartwatch, all the data can also be recorded in the smartphone as well. Same kind of thing uh, is happening with the uh, uh, activity monitoring in this case, okay? So what happens if you continuously monitoring means continuously monitoring may result in daily observation of human behavior and 
repetitive patterns in their activity. So we can time to time, we can easily have the observation with respect to the human behavior and the repetitive pattern. Okay, with this, what happening is easy integration of the devices, okay, long-term monitoring, and we can also utilize some sensors like accelerometer. Okay, accelerometer means if at all there is change in orientation, a person is sitting or a person is uh, bending or doing some sort of motions, you can also get it with this accelerometer, gyroscope, and uh, you can also track the person with respect to the global positioning system gps okay now if you see some of the actions or the gestures regarding the human activity actions can be considered as the running and jumping so the gestures can be like folding legs moving hands and all those things all these things can be monitored over the sensor network in the activity monitoring with iot now if you consider what are the different types of uh, uh, sensing mechanisms means a sensor can be a camera through which a video monitoring can be done and uh, with the help of the uh, video surveillance or the video footage we can uh, can monitor the activity of that particular person okay not only that the smartphone okay so the smartphone will be having some sort of accelerometer or the gyroscope due to which you can sense the motion of that particular person not uh, apart from camera and the smartphone we have an activity tracker band due to which you can see how that particular person is breathing actually how that particular person is uh behave whether he is running moving or his stationary position all that can be uh find out with the help of these different types of sensor mechanisms so if you consider the anal analysis tools so we have uh, uh, several uh, analysis tools okay so with respect to the sensor data, so we have statistical, we have machine learning based, and we also have deep learning. The benefit of using the deep learning based analysis tools is you can also uh, capture and process the sensor data, image data, and also video data. Okay. So this activity monitoring will be having two types. One is in place and another one is network based. In in place means whatever the device is fitted to the body on that one only you can observe the output or the analytics okay so there uh, there is no necessary of an internet connection like so if you take an example of our smartwatch only okay so even if it is connected to the phone or not okay you can see the calories uh, burnt and the steps you have taken or the running time or the exercise time everything can be monitored on the smartphone uh, smartwatch itself right so in place can be an on the device okay so which uh, consumes very uh, less power and no network connection is also uh, needed okay or required coming to the network based it is somewhat the devices are connected to the internet or the data is stored in the cloud and it can be analyzed or the analytics will be uh, seen in a particular application or a screen okay or a particular distance okay so large larger and processive intensive processing intensive methods can be applied group based analytics are possible suppose you are gathering uh, data from several types of sensors okay all the sensor data are combined together or brought together and it can be analyzed in a possible manner through the particular network and can be further stored in the cloud okay in this also we can uh, make the device to work in a uh, or it consumes the very less power okay for this we need average to good network connection so these are some of the case studies we can see over here so it detects uh, activity can comes under mot uh, motion detection sensors pressure sensors okay you can also monitor the temperature of the baby time to time over which is connected to the smartphone if at all the temperature raises okay it shows an alert like fever and all those things you have ecg sensors glucose glucose level monitoring sensors uh, gps uh, the person can be det uh, detector or navigated okay so wherever the or tracked okay so wireless fetal monitoring smart clothing smart clothing is nowadays the trendy one where the electronic devices are integrated into the fabric itself so due to which you can do lots of application like fitness jackets and all those comes under these things so these are some of the case studies of the 
uh, activity monitoring of humans. Thank you.